hello welcome back again now you, that you see we put the black one and we put the gray one and we made beautiful forest we had a little bird over here there is a squirrel or a bird whatever you think it is so now the canvas is very dry it's nice so what we have to do is now we have to apply linseed on it so if you don't know what it is you can check my other videos and you will see it so what we have to do is now you make sure that it's complete dry so what we have to do now we have to go over and all the canvases we have to do we have to put on it so you make sure that it has to absorb you have to be very very careful that you're not gonna do too too much because later on it might leak on you it might drip like tears so make sure that you kind of like spread and you do crisscross crisscross you have to make sure even if it's dry don't feel that it's dry you go over and over and over it's like an olive oil it's gonna spread it all over just take your time and do that don't let it stay lump so we have to do this so later on we're gonna do our last step and you're gonna see what a beautiful picture is gonna be We have to do all over. Make sure you don't miss anything and you don't put too, too much. And you know that at the end, after we finished it, we did this, we have to wipe it with paper towel and we have to take any extra oil that we see. You can hold it in your hands. You can move it from the camp, we can, from the easel to make it easy or any light that you can see. You need the light a little bit to see. There's no sun today so it's kind of a little bit hard to see if any places are missing that's why i just have to do over and over and over just like in my other segment in my other videos that you go you see uh, when you go my site which it says one word become inspired www.youtube.com slash become inspired you see all my videos over there you see all my different kind of art and shows and cooking you can see and if you miss over here anything you can go over there and you can check the, on the other sides and you can learn plenty so i'm teaching you this this is whatever i know you're gonna really enjoy it now i'm gonna see this take this to the light so you can see if you did all over the places i see over here a few places that i'm missing just take your time no rush just take your time make so you'll do it better job good job by rushing even though it's a very easy paint and it's nice paint but take your time so it will do it the result comes better there you go i can see in this corner it's a little bit too much so i'll take it and i'll bring it here even though it's a hard way it moves but i can tell i can see it so just make sure it spread it now this one because it's an oil you make sure that you put in a turpentine don't leave the brush out it won't dry on you those are expensive brushes you don't want to waste them i think it's looking pretty good there you go. All right. Now we see that it's done. Go over one more time. Go left and right, go crisscross. Just make sure that it's spread very, very, very nice. Always make crisscross so the st in, into the canvases, uh, you know, it's a material so it can go in every little part of the canvas. There you go. All right. Now we're going to put this here and we're going to take a paper towel and wipe it excess, excess of anything that there is you think it's excess. Just take it and wipe it, tap it if you think any place it's too much or whatever 
I think it's pretty good. Now what do we have to do? Close this thing. Because still we're going to use the brush, so what we have to do is... Alright. Now any color you want, you can put on it. Phthalo blue and... Forgive me, I need another blue. I can't find how here it is. We need fellow blue and plush and blue. There we go. Which is plush and blue, it's much lighter than the phalo blue. Any blue that you like. So now we have to start from the corners. You can even add white if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit from both. Anytime you start from the corners, you know that's always higher it will be darker just like this because it's a forest and it's a dark it's more darker and by time goes down it gets lighter and lighter so we have to start from the top now you will see the kind of magic that already your forest you can do um, I think even you can do it on with the yellow one any color that it's transparent you can do it now when you start from the corner because the color it's new when you're uh, putting on a brush when you're putting on a brush it's really strong it is by the time you go down it gets lighter and lighter so make sure that always the corners are goes lighter I mean darker and by the time you come in the middle it will be lighter See, like already you're seeing over here how dark it is and it gets lighter and lighter. If you want, you can even mix it with a little bit white color over here to be even more whiter. But you just do the corners much darker. Because that's deep, it's going far away. That's what it is. This is how you do this painting. And when you see it, like even you see the animals or whatever you drew it. Just take your time and enjoy it and see how you like to do it. And this way it's a kind of a magic painting it is. I will put a little bit, maybe I will add a little white over there and for the middle part. And in case if you want to add it, always try to keep it a little bit on a clean, so don't, don't put too much, uh, too much blue, so it will look more... Let's put here first and then we go light over there. And then because the light is sitting this way, oops, the light is sitting this way, so go white with the white, make a line going towards this way. The way you see over here, how I came, it's a forest, but the sun is sitting that way and it's coming this way. So this time it's going this way. Now the bottom again you can do darker or you can put any different color that you want if you like to be like maybe you are closer in the forest you see darker but front of you, you see green light street uh, walkway boulders rocks whatever you can always put it whatever you want but this is the basic thing it is that I'm teaching you that hopefully you can try and you will enjoy it it's a very pretty color it is it's a very pretty scenery it is You can even mix over here with a little black if you want the bottom because it's a uh, 
so I have I need some blood over here. So to do a little bit darker the bottom. Or you can use like I said grasses, green rocks. You can after you finish this, for example, you can add it later on too. You don't have to do all together. But for now, this is the thing I'm showing you. Just take your time and do it. See, do you see now over here, like there is the animals you can see because the sun is sitting so much that you cannot see it. Like it's supposed to be that way from the shades. And just do crisscross, you know, go up and down and blend together. But wherever the light is over here, for example, you just kind of try to blend going outside. Put the white if you want before and you can just like going through like this and try to blend it so it makes it softer and softer for you and then you can go slightly pushing this way so well i hope that you try this painting because this is the most easiest most simple painting it is and it's so beautiful like i said you can do anything you want you can try to add any kind of uh, sceneries any kind of you can even do from the back, uh, from the back, from the beginning, the mountain. Everything with black you do, and then you put the color, and here become very, very beautiful painting for you. Just don't rush. Take your time over here because I'm just showing you. At least you get the idea what it is, and then the rest you can always add whatever you like. Even I was gonna say to you that when you do the black paint, uh, the, the, the trunks, which I should have showed you before, but it's okay. You can make uh, the trunks, like you can add little white on it. Uh, let's say, I'm gonna just show you a sample. Let's say this is the trunk before you finish it with the white gesso. On a black gesso trunk, you can add a little bit branch, uh, a little bit color like this by uh, giving a shade or the lightness more lightness like the sun is hitting this way the light and it gives more lighter so you can put a little bit lighter color in the front with the small brushes or with the ex with the spack uh, with the knife and it will give you very good scenery you can do that i should have done that before but doesn't matter you still can do it and it will show very very pretty and then you can put like i said the rest of the color it's up to you what you do as a scenery. So, okay. Well, still I have to play with it, but this is the, you got the idea, you know what it is and how to do it. It's very beautiful and I hope you'll try it and you will do it. It's very simple. You're gonna surprise your friends when you do that. They won't believe that even you do it. You don't have to tell them, just keep it secret and you know, do it yourself see even that like I put the white now that I'm going through like this it kind of looks like the Sun is heating towards to this side with a little white there you go the Sun is shining very very hot it's beautiful When you put your own designs, your own animals, your own trees, I bet it's going to be even more beautiful. I hope you'll do it and you can show me sometimes. I can see your, your videos. <laughs> Just don't forget, go on my videos. And if anything you miss it, you can see it. It's on youtube.com slash become inspired. It's one word. You will see all my art over there. If you miss anything you like to learn, there you go. I hope you'll enjoy this and I hope you try it. Try it and I would love to see some of your works. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. This is my third session so you can see it from the beginning to the end. Have a good day. Good luck, bye-bye.